Council, and here we have the declaration. I, Steve Rumble, be the Acting Returning Officer for the election of a Member of Parliament for Rochdale on the 29th of February 2024. We hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate is as follows. Azar Ali, Labour Party candidate, 2,402. Mark Coleman, 455. Simon Christopher Dantra, Reform UK candidate, 1,968. Ian Donaldson, Liberal Democrat candidate, 2,164. Paul Simon Ellison, Conservative Party candidate, 3,731. George Galloway, Workers' Party of Britain candidate, 12,000.
where you can again be born in Rochdale. Again, be born in Rochdale. I want to tell Mr. Starmer above all that the plates have shifted tonight. And as Jacob Rees Mogg just said on television, in talking of me as a parliamentary orator of note, that Keir Starmer's problems just got 100 times more serious than they were before today. This is going to spark a movement, a landslide, a shifting of the tectonic plate in scores of parliamentary constituencies, beginning here in the Northwest, in the West Midlands, in London, from Elford to Bethnal Green and Bow, Labour is on notice that they have lost the confidence of millions of their voters who loyally and traditionally voted for them generation after generation. I've heard some of the narrative being spun around this election result this evening. Yes, it's true that every Muslim is bitterly angry at Keir Starmer and his misnamed Labour Party. But you would be very foolish if you did not realise that millions of other citizens of our country are too. Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak are two cheeks of the same backside, <laughs> and they both got well and truly spanked tonight. <laughs> Finally, I congratulate David Tully on his remarkable achievement. <laughs> his remarkable achievement in coming second in this by-election, and trust that even the most biased journalist in the room will realize that this is the first time ever in British political history that the two big parties of the state were thoroughly and soundly beaten. Yes! And I think that that will not have been missed in Downing Street or wherever here Starmer currently hands out. I look forward to working with Mr. Tully and I hope you'll join the Grand Alliance to wipe Rochdale's town hall clean because this town has been badly let down. Once one of the most prosperous towns in England, now one of the poorest, whose heart has been Piece by piece removed the maternity, the A and I understand you can't even be locked up in Rochdale. There's not even a jail cell to toss a miscreant in. <laughs> Mr. Dancho might be glad to hear it. But the biggest new threat that we face is the possibility of the extinction of the proud Rochdale Football Club. And I pledge that I will work tirelessly, I hope with the town council as changed in 12 weeks time to save the deal. God bless you. God bless Rochdale. God bless Parliament.